Welcome to Catriona's Castle Storytime. I am Mother Goose and today I'm going to tell you some of the nursery rhymes that I wrote a long time ago when I wrote a big book. You may know lots of these nursery rhymes and I would like you today when I do part one to help with those nursery rhymes right there from your seat. Now let's begin. First we have, who is this my friends? Humpty Dumpty, that's right. And what was Humpty Dumpty? He was an egg. And what happened to him when he fell off this wall? That's right, he fell off the wall and he cracked. And all the king's horses, you can be the king's horses. And all the king's men, you can salute like his men. Couldn't put Humpty together again. Now let's begin and say it together and you can act it out too. Are you ready? Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. And that's the end of that one. But ours is still fine, aren't you, Humpty Dumpty? You're still all right. Now our next nursery rhyme, and I think you'll know this one too, is about a king and this is his crown and this is his scepter. Now a scepter my friends is a wand a king will use to reign over the kingdom. Now this king he had a pipe that he would play and he had a bowl that he would eat and drink from and he also had fiddlers, which are also people who play violins, three of them, fiddlers three. Now this fiddle, and it's again, it's like a violin, was played with something called a bow. And a bow was a kind of a stick that goes right over these streams here and makes a sound. And you, my friends, when we talk about this one and say this one together, you can help play the fiddle. Pretend you have one in your arm, down your arm, under your chin, and take your other hand and go across like you're playing the strings. And when we say he called for his pipe, you can play the pipe. When we say he called for his bowl, you can hold up that bowl and fiddlers three and that's when you will play your fiddle. Are you ready? All right. Old King Cole was a merry old soul and a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe and he called for his bowl and he called for his fiddlers three. All right, my friends, play your fiddles. Well done. All right, we'll put this one over here. Oh, and down here, my friends. Who do you think this is? This is little Goosey. And Goosey likes to listen to all of our nursery rhymes. I mean, I am Mother Goose, and this is my pet goose, little, new, little Goosey, and she will listen to you. Now, the next one we're going to do is called Old Mother Hubbard. She's called old, sort of like I am. Old Mother Hubbard. And she went somewhere. Where did she go? She went to this, the cupboard, like your kitchen cupboard. And what was she going to do? She was going to get or fetch her poor dog. What? That's right, a bone. But when she got there, oh, the cupboard was bare. That means there's nothing in it. And her poor dog had none. And her doggy was sad. Hopefully she'll be able to get him a bone another time. All right, now let's say it. Now, if you're a little puppy dog and you wanted to beg for a bone, put your paws up and go, ar, ar, ar. Now, if you don't get a bone and you're sad, you're a sad puppy dog and you're going to whimper and go, ar, ar. can you do that? All right, let's begin. Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to fetch her poor dog a bone. But when she got there, oh, the cupboard was bare. And
and so her poor dog had none. Now, do you know what? The next day, I think old mother Hubbard went and she got her dog a little bone and then it was a happy puppy dog again. All right, now we're going to do another one. The next one we're going to do is Little Miss Muffet. This is one of my favorites. Now, Little Miss Muffet, a little girl, she sat on what? A tuffet. And my friends, a tuffet can be two different things. Sometimes a tuffet, it's always a little mound of some sort. It's either a little cushion, and sometimes a tuffet is like a little cushion hill of grass in a meadow. But we'll do it today as a little cushion. Now, little Miss Muffet was, what was she doing? She was eating her curds and whey. Do you know what curds and whey? Do you know what they are, my friends? It's kind of like a cross between oatmeal and cottage cheese. Curds and whey, and she was eating them. In the olden days, they used to eat them a lot. But then what happened? Now this spider, my friends, that we will use today, I would never hold a big spider like this, but this is a puppet and this puppet can come down just like that. And you with your hands can pretend you are the spider to sit down beside her. And what happened? <gasps> it frightened Miss Muffet away. Are you ready? All right, let's begin. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider <gasps> and sat down beside her up and frightened Miss Muffet away. And she threw the bowl and she threw the spoon and off she went. <gasps> well done. Now my little spider, again, it's just a puppet. It's all right. And it can go back to sleep right on that little tuffet where Miss Muffet was. All right, our next one, and I know you know this one, is going to be Jack and Jill. Now, can you look around here and see if you know something you think they'll need? What do you think? Maybe this? Pail of water? That's right, which is the same as a bucket. Jack and Jill, where'd they go? They went up a hill. And what were they doing? To fetch a pail of water. They had the pail, but they needed to get the water to put in the pail. And then what happened? Jack fell down and broke his what? His crown, that's part of his head. And Jill came tumbling after. So you can help with this one. We'll hold the bucket. Jack would hold one side and Jill would hold the other. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. <gasps> Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. <gasps> and I bet all the water came out of that pail too. All right, that's a good one. That's one of my favorites too. Put that right up there. Now, we have another one about a little mouse, my friends. Do you know who this is? Hickory Dickory Duck. The mouse ran up a what? A clock. The clock struck one. All of you be the clock. Put your hands like this, like your clock. Go boom. The mouse ran down. Hickory Dickory Duck. Are you ready? All right. Hickory Dickory Duck. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. Boom. The mouse ran down, hickory dickory duck. Hello, little mouse. <laughs> and our last one we're going to do, this one's called Jack Be Nimble. Now, Jack Be Nimble, Jack Be Quick, Jack Jump Over the Candlestick. Now, my friends, if you see a candlestick, that's not the candle part. That's the part that holds the candle. If that's the candlestick, that's the candle. 
Now, normally people would not jump over a candlestick. That might not be very safe, but it's fun to just practice jumping. So you can all try to jump. Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Jack, jump over the candlestick. Do it again. Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Jack, jump over the candlestick. And that's the last one we're going to do for this set. And then we're going to do part two another time. So thank you, my friends, for coming and visiting Catriona's Castle Storytime. And I again am Mother Goose. And goodbye, my friends, to next time. Thank you.